Tony ends in a draw here at the Stadium of Light today. What are your th thoughts on the game? Um, well, well as you know, first and foremost, I think we played against a good side, a, a young side, a very athletic team. Um, you know, worked really, really hard all over the pitch. Played without any centre forwards really to start with, and because um, they knew, I think they were going to be doing a lot of chasing and running, and they did, and they were a threat on transition. Um, got our noses in front and felt as if we were going to see it out as we have recently against teams at home but um, wasn't to be you know a, a penalty late on I, I haven't really watched it back but um, I'm not complaining it's you know they were full of legs full of running give us some problems but um, we did miss some opportunities to make it two and put the game to bed but it wasn't to be today and um, put the point in the bag and move on to the next one yeah, you mentioned putting the point in the bag and off the back of those last two wins as well, it still keeps the momentum going, really. Well, listen, if we'd have talked at the start of the week about seven points, we'd have probably took it. So, um, yeah, listen, I, we, we, it feels like a real oh, kick to the team. You know, everyone's really disappointed and really quiet dressing room, but um, we have to be positive. We, you know, we have to keep going. We have to um, keep believing. I think the league's really tight. Some some teams drop points today. I think you know Luton, who were above us, got beat at home, and um, Norwich, who you, you think are going to be there, drop points. You know, we have to just um, just put, as I said, put the point in the bag, move on to the next game, and um, and see how we get on. Some great individual moments in the game. Patterson made a brilliant save in the first half. Jack Clark's goal to mention as well. So, all in all, some good performances in there as well. Yeah, I suppose. Well, listen, they always is. I mean, we've got some really talented individuals, and um, and I think teams now are coming and very wary of our individuals um, closing parts of the pitch off. It's becoming more difficult to to find the answer to unlock the door in front of us, really. And um, and yet we thought, you know, the amazing goal from Jack, who's doing it on a regular basis now, and obviously Pat's been doing it as well. So. We talked about finding other players along the front line to score. It's great that both wide players are scoring goals. So um, yeah, let's just keep going. We, you're allowed to get disappointed, you know. We, we <laughs> going into injury time, we concede a penalty and, and, and drop two points. But um, as I say, let's give the opposition some some credit. They work really, really hard. They looked young and athletic, and um, they came with a game plan and made life difficult. And um, we didn't managed to quite get over the line but still as I said let's move on the game's come thick and fast and you are able to move on quite quickly when you know you head to Rotherham on Tuesday night I guess the next few days maybe managing bodies and that kind of thing as it has been for the last three weeks to be honest we've played a game every three days now I think for, for however many three weeks so I think they're really stretched but um, they keep digging deep and you know it wasn't us at our scintillating best but it's um, we thought we did enough to get over the line today, but unfortunately we didn't quite manage it. But um, we have to accept it, and it is not easy for any team when you're playing every three days. It's, uh, but we're not the only one, as I say. I think they're doing amazing. I think the supporters are amazing. That stick with the team, and and um, yeah, and, and we're allowed to be disappointed with a point. And uh, but yeah, it's not a bad sign when you're disappointed with a point.